what is collective tea trafficacy? And how did you start researching that topic? Yeah, well, collective teacher advocacy is the shared beliefs among a group of teachers that they've got what it takes to, to accomplish this very complex, challenging mission of educating every child who shows up in the school. And um, so it's a derivative or it's related to individual teacher advocacy, which we know is a really powerful motivational construct. Um, if a teacher believes, and any of us, if we believe we can do something, we're more engaged. We are, we stick to it. Uh, we're more, we have more perseverance in the face of obstacles or setbacks um, because we have a belief. I can get to the finish line. I can, I can achieve mastery in this, whatever it is. So, you know, so failure does not uh, derail us in the same way as if we enter the learning of a new skill or, or a task that we think, you know, I'm not so sure I'm going to be that good at this. You know, I, I'm kind of uncertain about that. Then if, if that's our opening belief, then we run into inevitable obstacles in the, along the path. And then we like, you know, you see, <laughs> it just confirms my, my hesitancy. I didn't think I was going to be that good at it. And we give up. So we don't persevere in the same way. And we, and we don't put in as much effort um, when we don't have that belief that we, we are going to be able to be successful. Mm -hmm. so, so when the collective teacher advocacy is when those beliefs become to be shared among a whole faculty in the school, like, yeah, we've got this going on, we can get this done, then that's just even more powerful than an individual teacher's beliefs about their own, uh, what, what they can uh, accomplish individually, because then it becomes self-reinforcing. And then the overcoming of obstacles becomes a collective work. It's not just me trying harder, me putting more effort in. It's we are trying harder. We're putting in more effort. We're helping each other problem solve because we believe we've got what it takes to get it done. So even if we've got some challenging students, students with challenging behaviors or cha learning challenges, that are, that are not easy to tackle. That's exactly where the magic, the differential between low collective efficacy and high collective efficacy comes in because we think, well, we can do that. We've got it. So our first attempt didn't work, our second attempt, you know, that this is genuinely a challenge, but we're gonna put in the effort. We're gonna be motivated because we really believe we can get this done. So it's, you know, everybody says so all children can learn. How much do you really believe that? How much are you really invested collectively that, no, we, we really can do all children. We really mean that. Every kid who shows up, we're gonna be able to meet their needs.